Hello, this is Gabriel with ABUGames.com doing another cube draft, and this is a sweet pack. Some really heavy hitters here. Some dual lands, uh, Coalition Relic, Consecrated Sphinx, which is definitely what I'm going to take. The one of the most powerful creatures in the format. Um, yeah, hopefully, well, I'm thinking probably one of these dual lands will come back. Is what I'll end up getting. Um, there's probably no way Coalition Relic's coming back. That'd be my if I had my first pick would be Consecrated Sphinx, second pick Coalition Relic. And Coalition Relic might actually be better, um, but I'm, I'm a sucker for the Consecrated Sphinx. Plus, I haven't had it in any of the cubes I've done, and always f a card you want to tr play with at least once per cube, I would think. probably still on the old five color. Maybe I'll just do a, um, what would be good with Consecrated Sphinx besides just the five color funny business deck I've been running recently. Possibly, I don't know. Let's see here. I do, man, this, I had the top and that was really good the other time I had it. Makes me want to go back to just take that. I could, what am I, sacrificing a red-white dual land, or maybe Stoneforge Mystic, which isn't really what I'm going for. Um, I don't know if it's second pickable, but it's super awesome. Sensei's Divine Top, then you can take the Entreat the Angels type stuff. Uh, I don't know. Tough to say. Other than that, Ancient Tomb Sweet, Thunder Maw's Sweet, Sword, obviously, but usually I end up in a creature deck. All right, I think I'm going to take the top. I just want it. I just want it, so. And it is all mine. That could be it. That's probably, I don't know. That yeah, Sensei's top is pretty sweet. I usually end up draw getting a bunch of sack lands, too, so it's being, I have a lot, I should have a lot of shuffle effects in theory. All right. Uh, Sundering Titan, Rampant Growth. Draco Genius, I like a lot. Land Tax. Graveborn Muse. Llanowar Waste, one of the crappy dual lands. Obsidot's pretty cool. Um, maybe I'll take the Draco Genius. He's easier to cast than... Well, I guess he's... I'm blue, for sure, with Consecrated Sphinx. So I have Consecrated Sphinx and Nizmizit. That'd be pretty sweet. Or I could just take Rampant Growth, but I don't know if I want to... Nah, I don't want to play very many basics. Sundry Titan, he's alright. Costs a lot, though. Be awful against me. Yeah, and the decks, I'm probably have a bunch of dual lands anyway, so. Yeah, it's really only Llanowar Waste. Or Nizmizit. I'll just take Nizmizit. He probably would spin around anyways, but he's so awesome. I don't know why people don't, don't value this guy very highly. 5-5 five, five Flyer for 6 is good enough. Then, is a... Abilities are crazy. Oh my goodness. Tamiyo? Need I look any farther? No. Wow, sweet dual lands. Shock land. Or uh, sack land. Top. Yeah, no. Tamiyo is too good. There's no way you don't take Tamiyo. Maybe I just take it, make a tight blue red deck. Is that possible? Okay. Elspeth Tyrell. Hello. I think that's the pick. Nickel Bolas is a little rough. It's awesome, but rough. I do like the Mind Stone, too. But I think I will take the Planeswalkers. Blue, white, red Planeswalkers is always pretty sick. I'm passing up all the dual lands for Planeswalker stuff early. All right, I'll do it. This guy's super good. I like this one a lot. The Veneral's Disc Chick. Yep. Big fan. Okay. Past the funny business phase and can start taking dual lands now. <sighs> yeah, there's nothing else in here worth even considering. That's really good. It's a nice late dual land.
Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Come on, drafters. Okay, Rugged Prairie, that's that's a dual land for my colors. So I'll definitely take that. Really good with Niz Mizzet because you get the double red for it. I do like Crucible, but um, too niche, too niche. Yep, sweet. That was a good one. All right, Cascade Bluffs even. Maybe I'll just try to stick with Rug. I can stick with Rug. Well, I'm definitely taking Dual Land, even if I do like Mystic Snake. But yeah, sweet. Uh, blue Deed. Deed's a sicko. Uh, Seaside Citadel, though. Definitely taking that one. Void Black. Wayfarer is good, too, though. I had some pretty good success with Weathered Wayfarer. Oh, dual land time. Alright, and another one if I want it. The bounce lands. That's. And there's a. Uh, Caves of Coilos. I don't think so. I don't think I want to play black. Um, I'm going to take this Wake Thrasher, actually. Or maybe I should take Essence Scatter. I always wish I would have taken Wake Thrasher after I. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to take Wake Thrasher, just in case the off chance the Basalt Monolith comes around. Then I'll have the combo. Essence Scatter would... Pr eh, I don't know, that's a tough one. Well, look at all these black cards. Well... Um... I guess Graveborn Muse is the best card here. I'll just take that, who knows. Edge of Autumn, Reckless Charge, Hokuri. I really don't want to be. M I could just take the dual land, I guess. I don't want to play against a curry. I'll just take that. <sighs> Tithe. I don't have any planes to Tithe for. Juicy Apprentice isn't too bad. I'll go with that one. Ooh, Spectral or Flash Freeze? Um, I'll take the Spectral Procession. Mm, that's a pretty good last pick, Primal Command. Okay, okay, I don't know. I'm playing Greedy. I feel like my picks have been s pretty greedy so far. Ooh, Treachery. There we go. I don't think there's... There's Hollowed Burial, but Treachery is way better. Garrick. Normally I'd take that, but I'm going to try to avoid... Play I'm going to try to play Rug. Or maybe just... Yeah. I got the... Nizmizit. Siege Gang will come back. I'll pick that. Probably that'll be really good. Or, yeah. Anyways, Treachery. Not passing that, that's for sure. Okay, what do we got here? A Teferi. That's pretty decent if I'm going to be sticking with lots of blue. Mirroring Crusader. That guy's pretty good. Oh, Lightning Bolt. That's what I want. Lightning Bolt. Engineer Explosive is also s quite solid, but Lightning Bolt's way better than all of it. So, yep, that's what I'm doing. Lightning Bolt. Okay, Slagstorm is decent. This is all Kira. I don't know. Not really too interested in Kira. Yep, I guess Slagstorm's the only thing in this thing that does anything for me, really. Okay. Ooh, Marshall Coup. There's a there's a playable card. Definitely, definitely interested in that. Negate's good. Rift Bolt's good. This guy's awesome, but not today. Yeah, Marshall Coup. I'm pretty dang happy to get that. Alright, Glacial Fortress. Sweet. Ooh, a Chain Lightning. Not nearly as good as Lightning Bolt, but still worth getting. But I think I'd rather just have a Dual Land. Savannah. Oh, so sweet. 
I want it, I'm not playing it, so kind of pointless. Um, can I sacrifice a glacial fortress for a chain lightning? That's an interesting decision. One casting cost removal spells are pretty important. Um, hmm. Usually, oh, it's so tough. I'm going to click that and think. Yeah, I want another chain lightning. Alright, we'll see if that ends up costing me. Ponder, mana leak, red blast, boiler works is good, serendib's garbage. Well, he's okay. So, ponder or mana leak? Hmm. That's a tough one. I think I'd rather have the counter spell. Yeah. Tough to say. I'm going for it. Bayou. Ooh, route. Serum visions or route? I think I'd rather have a route. Dungeon Geist is pretty good too, though. Serum Visions. Hmm. I like this guy a lot. Uh, route is just sicker. Uh, okay. Route. Um, do, do, do. Volcanic fallout. Um, crumbling necropolis. Blue and red. That sounds pretty good. Let's just go with the dual land. <laughs> Chain lightning, lightning bolt for removal, cheap removal to get to my planeswalkers and fatties. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty glad I got the chain lightning. It's so good having those to. Hey, Christopher Molier did both these. Interesting. Spectral Procession. That should be okay. I should be able to cast it. We got Rugged Prairie. Lots of dual. Ooh, a Hollow Burial. Siege Gang. Uh, yeah, another Wrath would be fine. Definitely not taking Grasslands. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Siege Gang is pretty awesome, but Hollow Burial. I didn't think this would come back. Hollow Burial's nuts. Yet another Wrath. All right, doing it. My deck is going to be a sicko. Three wraths already. And then some cheap removal. Slag storm. Yeah. Ooh, engineered. Nice. Engineered explosives or Teferi. Eh, I don't really think I need the Teferi. I'd rather have Engineered Explosives. Okay, not much in here for me. I guess Skullcrack I could cast. I guess I could Backdoor Putrefy. Or Cultivate. Eh, I'll take the Thicket. Not that I'm going to play it, but... Firelit Thicket lets me play Primal Command. <laughs> I don't think so. Wow, the negate came back. That is really cool. So I guess Banefire is the pick here. I could take Relic against a reanimation. I'll just take a card. I'm probably going to play Banefire. Sweet. Dual land. Ooh, Serum Vision 
ditched. That is awesome. I've got a lot of cards I could play. Probably going to hide this Hokuri. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This guy's probably not going to make the cut. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Wow. Yeah, I've got a ton of cards. Skull Clamp. What? Yeah. Plateau. Sweet. Maybe that'll come back. Electrolyze. Yeah, I'm taking Skull Clamp here because I've got Wake Thrasher, Spectral Procession, Elspeth Tyrell, uh, Juicy Apprentice. Is that a. I think that might have two toughness, though. Yeah, I'm going to take the Skull Clamp. Makes little guys better. I can draft. Ah, I just can't. I can't pass Skull Clamp. I can't do it. One of the best cards. Maybe I'll get Trinket Mage. That is sweet. Alright, here we go. Um, this is pretty, pretty much going to have to be Balance. Um, balance is one of the most nuts cards ever. Uh, yeah. Going for the balance. Balance is so good. So Wrath of God, Mind Twist, Armageddon. Well, usually not Armageddon in this, but it could easily be Wrath of God and it can be Mind Twist. <laughs> it's like your opponent has all these creatures and cards in hand and you draw my balance off the top. It's pretty dumb. Balance with Planeswalkers is pretty dumb, too. Uh, Remand. Pretty much want any... Just want some kind of uh, red, blue, or white dual land. Now I have all the cards in the world to play with. Um, Augers. Uh, Capsize is pretty good, actually. I think I like Capsize better than Remand. Capsize can be a pretty huge beating at times. There's Shining Shoal. You can redirect. But I think I want the Capsize. That's a pretty good card. Okay, here we go. Um, lots of good cards. Let's see. Do I have any, any dual lands? So this is only gets a plains. This only gets island for me. So they aren't really even dual lands. Um, Aetherling. I don't feel like I need another win condition, really. Consecrated Sphinx, Martial Coup, the, the Planeswalkers, Nismizit. Um, I suppose I could just could just take another Wrath of God. Another Wrath. I have a lot, though. Aetherling's pretty good. But, like I said, I don't think I... It'll probably come back, too. Yeah, I'll just take the Wrath. All the Wraths. Wrath them out! Okay. Alright, Hollowed Fountain. Ooh, Entreat the Angels. Shoot! <laughs> I wanted to entreat the angels for the with the sensei's divining top. Uh, I think I have to take that. Although I really want a hollow fountain here. Oh well. Uh, entreat the angels is just with the top. It's so nuts. Plus I have serum visions to set it up. Yep. All right. Maybe it'll... Oh, the Champion of Justice? What? This card's awesome. I've been playing with this now a few times. The first time I played it, it didn't do much for me, but I'm not sure why. But the every time after that, it's been absolutely busted. It gets huge. Oh, yeah, Tundra. Yes. That's so sick. Maybe that Hollow Fountain will come back. Probably no one else is on blue-white. Pristine Talisman would be good in this deck, too. But, yeah, I'm taking Tundra for sure. Oh, 
Oh, I thought that was Holomar Depths for a second. Is it Charm? That's a pretty good card. Um, although, I think I have enough cards, so I'm just going to take the Fairy Conclave. So, it's like a free card I can jam in the deck. Plateau, sweet, sweet. Another free card. Yes, that's really good. None of these are really worth the neat. I'd rather have Plateau for sure. Sweet. Alright, more dual lands, please. Uh, let's see how many cards I've got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Oh yeah, I got plenty, plenty, plenty of cards. So do I want the Arkham Sanctum or Caracas? I can save my Nizmizit. And I already have Crumbling, Necropolis, and Seaside Citadel. So I don't know if I want that many coming to play Tapland. So I'm just going to go with the Caracas. Okay, so I think I'll take Remand here. Or I could take Augur. What do I rather have? Honor of the Pure, Honor, Hand of Honor, or Augur? I guess Augur. I have a ton of things to grab with it, so maybe I'll just take Augur. Eh. Absorb or Narcolepsy. I think I'll take Absorb. Yes! Hollow Fountain came back. Oh, that's so awesome. Oh my gosh, that is so good. I guess it's not too surprising. I've got to be the only blue-white drafter at the table. But man... Yeah, people do <laughs> uh, people just do not value the dual lands high enough. Um alright, I take this Bosk away from somebody. That doesn't do anything for me though. White, green. Alright, sweet. Uh my deck is pretty good, I think. This has gotta be a pretty good one. I'm not sure if Skull Clamp makes the cut. Uh, it's sad to say. Might not make the cut. Yeah, it will. I've got Martial Coup, Spectral Procession. I'm not sure if Negate makes it. I'm not sure if Augur makes it either. We'll see. Wake Thrasher. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about Capsize either. Consecrated Sphinx. Nismizit. I think Absorb is good enough. Top for sure. Skull Clamp. Engineered. Well, that's 23. Banefire would be good. This is a 3 casting cost to kill. And 2 creatures. 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, uh, instants or sorceries. So if I was to play Augur, it would hit quite often. These are cheap. I should put these down here. It's probably three mana. Spectral Procession against with the Planeswalkers seems like a good plan. Treat, yeah. Three, four, so it's like five mana for a four, four flyer. That's not too bad. If I need to. Yeah. Capsize might be better than absorb. Depends on what I'm playing against. Alright, I think I like this. 
color. Get my dual lands in. Nope, not that one. Tundra. Probably seaside settle. That one's not in. Alright, so let's get the red ones over here. This is red, white. This is blue, white. And red, blue. There's an island in the plains. Alright, this is red, blue. Alright, I've got five sources of red. I think I need if I have two more. How many blue? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight blue. Probably want two more of those. And probably two planes. Let's see. White. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that sounds good. So red. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven red. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blue. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know. Yeah. All right. This should be good. I think this makes sense. Let me look this over one more time. Spectral procession. Retreat. This is going to be, yeah. Question is, would I rather have spectral procession or a cat? No, nah, I need spectral procession to make skull clamp reasonable. I've got one, this thing, two, three, Uh, four. Yeah, skull. It's like combo city. If I can get one of those things going, so doing it. Uh, but usually when you're drawing lots of cards, I want something like capsize to. Maybe the capsize would be better than this absorb. Eh, I'll just go with it. See what happens. I could take out engineer explosives for capsize. Maybe that makes sense. Yeah, there we go. It kind of does the same thing in a way. It just costs its potential more of a blowout. Okay. 